Alright guys, welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23. Uh, we got Providence Championship at Quail Hollow. And we just... Uh, when we last left off on career mode, we lost in a playoff. Uh, dude somehow just kept birdieing, kept birdieing. We finally parred and lost. What the hell is this? A 2k punter, why do we have this? I don't know. Oh, we got a epic fitting for the driver. It's shaping. Uh, what do we have on it right now? This one. Okay, so it's 76, 76, 70. 76, 79, 74. 82, 83, 89. 81, 89, 86. This one is better, the swing path and the timing, which is really what we want. Transition's only down by one, so let's go ahead and fit this. It's pretty nice. I need to do, just to go through and get rid of a bunch of crap fittings. Okay, so we got one of these. This is a lie range, which I don't think I really need. It takes away too much swing path and timing. Um, we need a grip for the hybrid, which this one is. Timing and swing path. I like it. Let's go ahead and fit it. Oh, these are hybrids. For some reason I thought they were irons. Plus five and plus two. Then what do we need? A shaft for the putter. We haven't really gotten any good shafts. Yeah, nothing. I'll still say the okay, here we go. What's this for? Lob wedge. I didn't find anything for the wedges. Oh. Okay, so we have... Oh, we have an epic grip. Man, but the timing goes down. The power, the swing path, and the lie range go up. Tell you what, let's try it out. Because this one puts the timing up by 2, and the transition by 4. God damn it. I hate that. Sometimes it's on confirm and sometimes it's on cancel. Let's try it out. Let's do legendary. We got everything legendary for the wedges. The stuff of legend. Um, they're not the best legendaries. I would say this one is great. Um, look at our shaping for the wedges. Good god, it's at 100. Um... I'd say if anything we could use a better I don't know. What do we got here? Five points. Oh yeah, I played a lot of society stuff TGC tours um stuff, so that's probably where I got all these. <laughs> Let's finish off the uh last ones. And now we have one point to go. What should we go in? I still feel like my irons and my wedges are really the biggest thing lacking. Uh, most notably on it is... Uh, I don't know. We're doing good on flops. Um, we're actually doing pretty good on chips. Uh, chips out of the heavy rough receive a roll boost. I don't think we need that. Pitch shots receive a spin boost within 101 yards. 
could be useful. Iron. I don't really think a shaping boost will help us. Um, splash shots to a timing boost from the bunker. Now that is very good. This is with the iron though. And it's kind of rare that we're far enough from the green in a bunker where we need a splash with a, a pitching wedge, a 9, or an 8 iron. Um, it's usually more of like a pitch if we're that far away. This is 15 mile an hour wind. I don't think we need that. Roll boost from the heavy rough could be handy. Um, no more shots receive a power boost from the fairway. I don't really think we need a power boost unless it's with our 5 iron. Um, let's, I tell you what, let's finish off Beach Bum. And we do, we will earn five more skill points in total, but that is it. Um, we do really well with our hybrid and our wood. We have almost nothing in both of them. Um, I feel like I didn't need this one in the wood category. Uh, we maxed out the clubhouse pass as well. Let's go ahead and play this. Club fittings full 100-100. Fittings rewards will be automatically deconstructed while you are at a at the fittings cap. Oh. Okay, so we need to get rid of these fit uh, the crap fittings. We're at our cap. Caps at a hundred. We'll just deconstruct these. Um, uh, I don't like that. It takes too long. And it goes all the way back up to the top. Come on now. We'll just do a few. in the round. What the fuck? Oh. I was like, what? A sign controller. I'm already using the controller. Two K Sports and the PGA Tour proud to bring you the season long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Providence Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Hello, I'm Luke Elvey alongside 2002 PGA Championship winner Rich Beam, who's in the booth. And it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi, Luke and Rich. Looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Yes, but they certainly have to make the most of every moment they get because there'll be very few today. Fire up. This is a big rivalry, this one. They've chosen to club down on this one. Oh, yeah. Not a bad approach. He'll be putting. 13 feet to the hole. And since this is coming out. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Rich, that's ideal. I thought we missed the that. To start the day. Way the after I actually play in those loop. societies. Um, he finds himself because this is like part off. 25 of the career mode. Momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. And right at the moment, oh yeah, this is the, this one. I think we need to do that. Oh, we hit it fast and pulled it. Getting the damn it. Say so getting that mulch. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried no, in the deep not. stuff. Uh, yes, this is like a we'll get big to use the bowl punch, of though. spinach salad. It's just gnarly in there. Going with a three wood here. Yeah, we really Could couldn't do much. Uh, yeah, now into the lap of the golfing gods. And here we are with the third <laughs> shot. But the societies were really fun. Um, I don't think this ship is going to work, really. 
or the flop. Ninety-two. That's gonna be short. This was an awful hole. Sure. Time now for the fourth shot. Come on, give me it, give me it. That look good for there we time. go. Gee, that'll keep the momentum rolling, Rich. All over the parking lot, but a chip in for par saves the day. But uh, anyway, we played. Well, worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. The this one was a great chip in. I could watch this all day. <laughs> Kinetic, which is easiest. Elite, which is right in the middle, and then. Platinum, which is on Legend difficulty, one under for the tournament. and then I also did True Sim and Le the Legend the is or Platinum, I should say, and True Sim. I actually think I did pretty well. The only time I I messed up this on the first round of both of them, but then after like that, the from where you're played here? great. Say he's about 165 from this flag. Wow, that Slow. drive! Oh no, Incredible I just pulled stuff. it. Over 300 yards. Damn. This would be a great up and down. Oh wow. Okay. You can make this one. It's for par. That's a good punt to make. That one. Unfortunately, that one really should have been a birdie hole if we hadn't have pulled it. Uh, Cameron finds himself on top of the leaderboard. Cameron Champ. Let's see what happens here Up on the fourth. We'll go seven and put some loft on it. Looks to have chosen Damn. the seven iron. I just keep. That was a little too much anyway. That's tiny. I just keep pulling it. A putt for a place in the top ten. It's downhill. Okay. Wow, Steady really? Now. Yeah, I shouldn't What's have went that far him, after the hole, Careful but... not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse it than broke an uphill putt short. Both ways. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. Really should have been a straight Trailing putt. by four strokes. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Ah. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Rich Cam Champ made a, an immediate impact on tour, not just with his prolific play, but of course because of his diversity. There we go. Uh, it's a wonderful story, and it's great to have a player yeah. like Cam out on tour, given the current climate. I love the fact that Cam Champ went out and won early in his career to to afford him the ability to realize that he belongs on the PGA Tour. I think that. The early win got everybody juices flowing, thinking this kid is going to rule the world as far as he hits it. But I don't think he was truly comfortable being out on the PGA Tour. But by virtue of that win, he's been able to stay out there for the last few years, rack up a couple more wins, mind you, but really kind of get a sense of what the PGA Tour is really like. The travel, uh, how everything works on a week-to-week -week basis, and and be comfortable sitting there hitting golf balls on the driving range with the best in the world. There's no reason why this guy can't be top 10 in the world. He's that good. He's that talented. He just needs to believe in himself just a little bit more. And when he does, whoo, watch out, world. Here comes the champion. Yeah, I like Cameron Champ. He, Not your best effort. Still a mid-range putt coming up. His, uh... Well, what about that, Rich? He'll, he'll usually like have like just a horrible and round a nice up and down in the middle of the four, the four, and that's really what what'll kill it for him. But man, has a one advantage. I'm playing better Dead on all the these other Here things. At the seventh hole. For some reason, I just can't get comfortable uh, swinging it. I don't know why. Good shot there, Beamer. Playing from around I feel like, oh, this is going to be fast. This is going to be slow on everything. Left to right. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. Ah, uh, flop's not going to do me any good. 
All right, perfect. Go. Nice recovery there. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. All right, we broke yeah, the par the streak. Right off the blade. And with it, he'll <laughs> move to a couple under par. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Time to take a look at what this par four might be in order. Really, ah. they play this one aggressively. Oh, will this one hang it worked on out, but the fairway? Or is it headed towards the I'm rough? just not hitting them very Time well. Time for the second shot at the eighth. That was a, a pretty good one. Why it's so short, I don't know. It was just a touch slow. It shouldn't have taken 15 yards this or miles oh, more like 10 or 12 yards for off. Another birdie here. That'll sting a bit. This putt just five feet away from the hole. That gets the job done. Currently a couple under for the round. Bubba Watson right behind Mr. Chan. For this hole. There we go. There's a perfect, still yeah, slight the pull. But. This shot here near the 200 yard marker. Puff of wind blowing right Why to are you left? trying to get me to hit a nine iron? Well, the slope pulled it, so it'll work out. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. Already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Pulled it right into the hole. And that will drop in for birdie. And he dances his way to the top ten after that delightful shot. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun ah. to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Worked out. Well, that's a handy shot. A few shots under par at the moment. Currently tied for sixth. Interesting choice of the driver here. Awful shot. Hopefully that bounces far enough left to not be in the bunker, and it's in the bunker. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. It honest, it's going straight downhill though. Hit it perfect. Just pulled it. Yeah, I knew it. See, max spin. I put it down, and it still didn't stop. Pulled it. Wow, it broke left immediately. I pulled it incredibly. And it went to the right. And now teeing off on this par four hole. The only part it actually broke right, it didn't break where it was breaking. Slow. Yeah. Good shot there. It's a fair way so for they, sure. I have found well, a the thing about um, one more club playing to an elevated green. As they need to work on that with the greens. They really do. I'll even watch other people play, oh, and I've seen more breaks that either aren't breaking or short game just been especially short break the wrong way than I've ever seen in the previous game. Uh, now, they were in the previous game, but I've seen them more in the first 12 he days of this game of being food. out, and that's including the early access day, so technically only nine days of it being out on the um, it's nine right no yeah nine days of it being out um, then most of the, the last game that was awful well, I said I'm just uh, not, not feeling comfortable swinging it for some reason better look at this lie oh, they got Flight someone rough. lucky here just off the fairway but not sitting nicely Oh, it's sitting just fine. Um, Going with the oh, wow, okay. I was like, Got oh, we did. Okay. Here. Yeah, this is looking we good. I think we still hit the tree. Sitting up in the first cut. And we keep doing this, too, on par fours where we really can't afford to be, you know, hitting this type of shot. 
And then look at that. At I mean, just didn't day, stop. Currently in fourth position. Not after. The, well, good God. Not after this hole. And this next putt, it's for bogey. And missed it. Oh, of so close. Come on. Seven feet to the cup. Hey, that's a chance. And there it is. Of course. Yeah, the greens. I, I still think if that hole. this hole is a par three. Gameplay wise, the greens and the partial splashes they really need to work on. I think everything else gameplay wise is really good. Um, now, a little off the mark on that approach but shot. the greens With and the partial splashes just really need a lot of work, in my opinion. Because if I have a full splash into a green, I'll hit it. Oh, with a sigh of relief, happy to be putting again. It's just like hitting a flop. And if this can go down, he'll save par. And that's the kind but of if you hit a partial, a good round if you don't hit it in dead bunker, perfect, with their tee shot, and that is a you very might be back in that save. bunker. But when you stand on the tee here at the 14th at Quail Hollow Club, Rich, you're given two choices. Do you lay up or go for it? It begs you to take out the big stick and go for it. However, most days, the proper play is take an iron out and lay it up down the right-hand side, opening up the green for the second shot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Mark I wouldn't down, say that. Birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to three under par. Sam Burns. He's pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. What a drive. There Look at that. And then yeah, some of the greens, you know, I've here, said guys. it a lot before. Going for it in two. But they just have... A little bit too much, or sometimes a lot of it, too much roll. Um, Getting ready to play there. And then also with the splashes, the lead. They, how they just literally have no spin. And you can put spin on the splashes, but they still really don't do much. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Yeah, 15 feet out. I pulled He's it. been staring this one down into the hole. A little birdie looking here. Well, look who's getting on a roll well we got back the doubles back back no, the one double but two in a row there still. Luke, getting their groove on now three strokes back after that hole as you find your way to the 16th hole at quail hollow club you're reminded that you're entering the green mile again it's great book and long movie. players can carry the bunker down the right hand side hit it out to the left avoid that bunker and give yourself the best opportunity to find the green in two come on now that's Hit it perfect like that, and we pulled it, and it still ends a up to the right. Short with that effort, and that's going only slightly downhill. Uh, but eh. on the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. Putting for par. Yeah, that that chip oh, really did us in. Was looking good, wasn't it? Well, hold. Let's move on. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. You've got to hit a number of big shots here at Quail Hollow Club, and none bigger than the tee shot at the par 317. Luke, time to step up and make the best swing of the day on this challenging par 317th. Find the center of the green, and you're a happy player. An opportunity bad, for a booty here. The... Wow, I just can't, feet to can't the hit top. a putt. Good God. Look at that. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, just keep going. Just keep going. This next putt is for bogey. Right over the spot they were looking at. Might as well just part the yeah, last five holes. But they seem holes. to be losing a bit of their momentum. You're making one bad the mistake same with another damn compounding thing. it. Not good. Minus nine well, finishes the first the round. Of good God. Playing the 17th at Quail Hollow Club. Think again. Welcome to the last. Yes. Water going all the way down the left-hand side of this fairway. Really? That bunker on the right really? has crippled I aimed it all the way to the right. Find barely the hit it fast. And, give and it's 40 yards left. To find the green Whatever. Going with the six iron here. 
There was less bullshit on legend difficulty. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault in missing the green. Oh, well played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. So, after a pretty decent opening round, Rich, this player still finds Not really. a fair way off the pace. They are definitely a fair way off the pace. Oh, good God, fellas. Go minus nine. And play like they I'm did pretty sure this world -class the AI deal. isn't supposed to be going any more than minus to, seven. To finish where they did. Or I mean, no. It's just an okay round of golf. But Never mind. I put it on hard, the AI. Well, another great day of action here at 2K Sport. I'll need that power head. Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Providence right. Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. Hello, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich. As this round begins, what are your thoughts on this particular player? Look, this player is trailing at the moment. Let's face it, there is so much golf left out there. Anything can happen. Let's just sit back, relax, we and watch it that. unfold. Can't wait to see how today's play plays out. Time to get to the action. This putt is of nine feet. Ooh. Beautiful shot. Birdied it. Can't birdie them all. Two days in a row. The first, Luke. Good start. Now let's break what we did in the last round and birdie. Get advantage. another birdie before hole number seven. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Yeah, he's about 155 from this hole location. Wow, that drive. That had so much air time, I didn't even know if it was coming down. Needs this one to kick right. What are we looking yeah, I was at? Hoping for it would this go down this hill, considering He's got to be careful this stop. doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. But that's a little bit of, of the, what I'm saying. Like, my iron shot, even though it was rolling to the right, just stops. This putt, I just tap it. And unless it goes in the hole, Ooh. doesn't stop. It's like. He's got a so why did my. Why did my shot from the oh, fairway Rich, is there anything more disappointing not continue to roll down the hill a little bit more and, and instead start to roll and no then just act like it hit something and stop? It's a little robotic. Here at this long par four. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par, which has to pipe one up the middle. There you go. That's a perfect. Still a little bit left, but I think. You like that, didn't you? Taking aim from about 170 yards. Hmm. Let's go. Whoops. I meant to go back up. Ah. That pull really hurt it. Really. We were right there at That's the top well of that thing Anything and it the came down. Was fine. Slim chance here for Birdie, but you never know. Oh, I know. Trust me. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Good looking putt. Solid par putt, that. Alright, we haven't broken our par run yet. He finds himself in a share of 15th position. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. There's always a sense of excitement striding onto the tee of a par 3 hole. Perfect, but pulled it. Ended up all right. Yeah, a quality shot, that. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Can you hear those tweets? This uh, is what they have left for birdie here. Yes. Yes, I do. That's inside the range. And with that, he'll move to four under par. He's currently tied for 12. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain oh, the momentum. Jesus. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, he's got 190 all the way back here. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, 
Bad got a little out of control, I think. Lots of greens and regulations today for this player, but not so on this occasion. That should run a good bit. Yeah. It was Russell's all up the hill. Around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Here we are at the sixth hole. Opting for the five iron. Ah, I not the result that Don't know why there. I thought it would make it, but oh, I did. Oh, a little shorty Baker on that action there. Bad chip. Oh, we're bogey in this one. <sighs> and here we are with the third shot. Ooh, that almost went down. So Unfortunate. close to the par, but a bogey it will be. We birdied before number number seven, but that bogey now has a pretty much undoes advantage. everything. So, You've and English is ten under now. He wasn't even the one that was nine under. Yeah, that one will play. Time for the second hitting shot no damn here pitching at the wedge. seven. What you talking about, fools? It might be ambitious to some, but they're going for the green. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. The power Two big hits there, knocking negativity. in on this par five and two. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. Was on a oh, good didn't break as much as I was Just hoping. three feet to the cup. And that's a great way hoping, because I didn't really think it was going to break as much as I put it. that will take him to four but. under. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. That drive heading straight towards the cut stuff. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, I was hoping to go a little bit fast. Because we could we afford to, to go to the left a little bit. How close was that to going down? Ended up slow. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Damn. Currently at minus four overall. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Thank you. Could roll into the rough. Thank you for on that information. One. The rough. There was no rough anywhere near well, me. Let's see how this shot goes from the fairway bunker. Yeah, moron. I don't know if we can get the hybrid out. Nope. Not sure you got that as cleanly as I you didn't think we could, the but next one on the green. it was worth a shot. Wow, for a pull. Yeah, that's a little wayward. Missing it short there, they that will didn't definitely really, uh, be upset. Yeah, especially since unless we make this, it's another bogey. All right, safely out of the bunker, and now a chance to make a putt. I don't know why I'm playing so yeah, badly on easier courses. Putt. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. We have a par five here. Time to take advantage. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Second shot here Good on God, the tenth hole. Just sitting on this slope here. That should bounce now. We landed that right in the end. middle of that gully. That was kind of funny, to be honest. Oh, I thought that one was going in. See ya. I put max spin on it, by the way, and loft, and right. it was in an eighty percent lie. On this play. Yeah. And here we are with their four. Like I said, they really need to fix the Lovely greens. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Max Spin put loft this on an 80% lie. Should have taken at least five to six yards off of the landing position. Come on, fellas. It's not hard to figure out. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. And he's down there. 
They're setting up this next shot into quite an elevated green, Luke. Going with the 9-iron, I think. That shouldn't this have made it up there. Towards the green. <laughs> and here we are with the third shot. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Why not take another look at that effort? Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Oh yeah, I guess uh, and coming off the I could talk about um, a chance to keep it rolling. I played in a tournament. I talked about oh, I was playing in one, that one should find the, the day I was recording Around like two parts ago. I can't remember what part it was though. Um, ah. Can't stay the punch didn't seem to fit their eye. Not taking enough club to get it there. Okay, but so um, step one. But now got to hold a mid range. It was puck. a nice course. Ooh, right, right by the it hole. Didn't break an inch, although it, it goes. showed a lot of break right at the hole. And now um, three under. It was a short course. Moving down the leaderboard. Under it was. I think it was under 6,400 yards. Um. Going with the five iron here. But it was really nice. The oh, only, honestly, the right only thing that was wide. hard about the course was the fact that there. I want to say half chance. of your shots and into the there. green you got a read? were blind. This part 16 feet from the and cup. when you've never Good played the today, course, that's the pretty tough. Has been really sharp today. And it doesn't help that when they Get excited. This could go in. were uh, a bit long on that one. announcing like. You know, the rules, goes. and you have long Can drives, and closest to the pins. Let's see that they said the pin location team. was two. Really so I looked on the, the little league. map, and two was the middle on the first hole. So we were started on the 16th. It was, the so it was the middle there. It, it automatically power. gave us the putter. Oh, loving seeing that aggressive That's play weird. there, Luke. Great drive. Um, it's actually, it is downhill right at the start. Is that enough? What the fuck? 20 feet to the cup. This is their look at birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, this screen's a little weird. This one's tracking. Um, Unfortunately, that'll be a three putt par there. But it wasn't. The pin location was one. The so the first one three advantage. greens, so 16, 17, we and 18. Par five on this one. We had, again, not one of the greens could you see. God, that was bad. This one looks to be headed towards the fairway. Not one of the greens could you see. Second shot here on the fifth. So end. uphill. And uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Not really, but getting ready to We had um we either had, you know, a pitch loft wedge or a pitch sand wedge or a full loft wedge for me. And Because we couldn't see it, Penny, and because we thought the pin location one? was right, one, the here, like they had said, gentle. you know, we were aiming for middle, back, and then front. But it was... That was a gallant attempt. Wow, it just never turned. A par on the table. These are on rails looking but good. it was um, for the par. front, middle, back. So every single time we got onto the green, on each one, even though we only had, you know, your smallest wedges, we were 30 feet from the hole. The tempo there was exquisite. So we parred the first three holes, even though we were under 100 yards from the hole on each one. About 195 yards. Launched that one into space. Wow. 
Oh, I guess they're seeing ah. something I'm not. They're going with less club here. Interesting. Yeah, it's really downhill. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Ah. Very crafty, that shot. Um, but we finally birdied a hole number one. Race. It was a par five. Now, another thing they have is each hole. person gets a red tee. So you get the tee off from the closest tee the on one hole each person. And normally, you know, you'll use that on a par five, <laughs> so you can easily get on in two. So two of the par fives. this year, and it's like 90% of the field is in that little bailout area. Everybody's in the bailout area. Oh, so over there to the right. I make par five that's, that. that's all you do. That's all this hole is. I wasn't. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Um, oh, Dr. Chipinski strikes again. And so Bell I hit mine on the first one. And I hit, for Two some reason, except for here, three holes, hole I was just slicing ball. my driver. Which was weird I because on the range, just some of the I didn't hit one slice. Rhythm in the game. Playing Come out on the course, only slices, yards, yeah. except for three holes. Um, slow. Opting for the six iron. Uh, that's and so, right. okay, not the best result. Again, we were only. <laughs> it was and so close from the red shot. tee. We were only um, another, what sand wedge or loft wedge in that's something like lead. that. Still a fair way from the hole. Just put right on ten feet. A good one to make. And we got on. That signs off on this for the eagle putt for the day. Uh, unfortunately, mi we missed every eagle putt we had. We right, had, I think, three of them. Rich, just a round of play. Um, yes, and it should be a doozy. Looking forward. Man, to we it. played awful. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Bean, Henny Koyak, and John McCarthy, plus all the hardworking folks behind the action at 2K Sports. Thanks for. But um. I'll walk you kind of through the holes. So the first three holes went the exact same way. You know, drive in the fairway or the light rough. Because the rough, you know, since it's getting colder, it's not that long. Um, and you had lift, you know, and you can move it a club length left or right, just no closer to the hole. You know, uh, the tournaments where you need to be going 15 to 18 under to win, unfortunately. And... So the first three holes, same same thing. Driver, wrong pin location. So we didn't, we weren't hitting it to the right one. Right now, he has not got the victory. And so par all three holes. We finally birdied the par five because we were on for an eagle putt. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Again, just never really got a yes, very smooth tempo. Eagle putt close enough to where it's like, okay, this is you know within 12 feet. We can make this, you know. They were all like 30 some feet away, but I mean, three of us had never played the course before, so and I didn't even know two of the guys that we were playing with. Up from around 160 yards, when moving right to left on this shot, nah, choosing the nine iron here. Better be careful out there. It's danger. It's heading left. Isn't How? It? I was playing play this there, earlier for like three or four uh, four hours with it plugged in. I swear, man, I have had more problems with this goddamn PS5 than I had with the PS4 for like five years. A chance to save the par if you can make this one. It's yeah, ridiculous. Currently at minus three for the event. God. Here we have a long but path anyway, forward. it's going to take two great shots to get on. Our biggest problem was, just like the last tournament we had played in, that was wonderfully done. every single drive, we were, you know, some type of wedge in, but they not a play. full one. And none there. of us were really dialed What's in, in them, with the wedges. Up this part 15 well, the one dude the we were playing with, who had played there before, he played. he Probably couldn't even. He almost missed the ball three, three times in the round. 
He hadn't played, he said, for a year. Um, and he's the one that uh, told us about the tournament. That's so. pretty handy shot. He was a real cool dude, though. He was hilarious. And he's the reason, actually, that we made both of the birdies on par threes. We birdied two par threes, par the other two. As he hits, it was one. 65, but it was downhill, so I was using a wedge, and unfortunately, it just didn't get good contact. It was short. Uh, no, one other person was, I think, left. Um, my dad, I think, was he was short right, and then this guy steps up. Oh, I love these momentum putts. Right on ten feet. And lands it two feet That's from the hole. Birdie. It spins backwards and sits about a foot from it. Almost a hole in one. I mean, it was amazing. And for some reason, and, uh, one of the dudes the from the teams in front of us was just the standing there watching our shots. I have no idea why. Perfect. It ended up horribly. Currently minus five. They look at that the tiniest bit slow, and it barely got out of the bunker. Well, the putt is going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from. On the any, ah, uh, it's short. On any other shot, that tiniest bit slow is only all it's going to do is take off maybe a few yep, yards well. and go a tiny bit to the well, right. At least it wasn't That's a double. It. But Unfortunately, moving I, would, down the leaderboard, I, I wouldn't the say honestly that I played bad. I, I, at the seventh. It was just we couldn't get our wedges going, and even though I was slicing, you know, which Looks I like really don't do very much. This next shot my drives. The, um, <laughs> the course was pretty wide open. And so I was still in the fairway, or just just well, off the strike. fairway, and we were still using bunker. most of those drives. And here we are with the third shot. Um, ah, the, really? It was that slow? I call BS on that. This line doesn't look too tough. Just Whatever. in the first cut, up by the green. If he makes this, he'll save his par. But well hold. my putting was on point. I made probably four now great birdie putts. A three stroke advantage. Well, here we find ourselves on a short par four. What's your um, mentality? Really they play and another big highlight of the round for me. So, it was a hole. It was 280 to Second the middle on the eighth. of the green. It's par short, shorter par four. And it was uphill. So it's playing more like 290 to 295 to the middle of the green. Four feet from the hole. And I was starting to get pissed because and I just could not heavy. drive the ball that, you and know, straight. Is up by three shots. Uh, the first hole, dead straight. We used it. Uh, second hole, pretty straight. We used it. But then after that, it was nothing but slices. And this was the 16th hole for us, but, on, but hole number that dog 13. Hunt. Um, that we were playing, there, this and it's a straight him, hole. Well, it's about there was out. a bunker middle of the Looks green, about the 250 out. That's definitely left of the green. And this would be a great up and down. The one dude hit it. Oh. Good for a long time. Uh, no, my dad hit it first. He was the one that teed off first. He sliced it and right into the trees. To save par. Um, now it came out. Terrific roll. Into the rough, Whatever but we chance. were like a hundred yards out. Rich, how are we looking after nine? And nine, so far, so good. It's great to see. Then I just stepped up and I was like, I'm gonna up, go for it. I'm just gonna try to swing out my shoes. Exactly who's gonna be ahead. But you know, control it. Penny, what does that line look like? He's eyeing this up and he's pleased with what he's seeing. This no. is sitting nicely. Wow, you need to quit being a commentator if you think that was sitting nicely.
If you think a 60% lie is sitting nicely. But, um, I hit it. I do all my stuff that, you know, is going to try to give it some extra power. And, God, we're just playing horribly. I don't care. I never felt comfortable in any of these rounds. Max spin loft. Sitting at Again, four. fix that sh bullshit, fellas. Certainly makes putty easy if you can chip it that close. Such soft hands. Um, and, it Two and it had a tie. I, I hit it. I hit a it. Sign. A tiny little now cut. A little it landed past yeah, that bunker and was only like on four feet from Next up is this on the, from being hole. on the green. I was just like, oh man, I was hyped after that. This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. Well, because even Second though it was slow, that 11. didn't take into account at all. Is this one heading into the sand? It didn't carry that. Uh, Jesus. Dust the sand off those shoes. Get into the other bunker and splash it onto the green. See, full splash. Hit it perfect. For some reason, again, they have no spin. Playing their fourth shot. Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Just eyeballing. Well, we that made the birdie on that hole because we were like 60 feet away. The pin was in the back, so the pin was the like 300 ball. yards away. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. But I love that. I just drove the hell out of it. Let's see what happens here at the 12. And we finished 11 under because. The back nine. We only had three birdies. Murder. It was three straight birdies. The front nine, you we like had from where you're standing, Henny? Yeah, he's got eight birdies. We only parred a par, yeah. one of the par threes. What a drive that was. F1, watch out. Shut up, lady. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Nope. That's not the outcome they're after. Greens and regulation today has been absolutely abysmal, and that is reflective on their scorecard. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. But it was super fun. The guys yeah. we were playing with were really fun to play with. Um, one of the dudes, I, I, I can't remember. I think he was a little bit older than my dad, maybe. Let's see what happens here. Um, the he was doing really well on the first couple of holes, but then he just started like duck hooking everything. And... It started to be that to be thing where I was getting worried because I was like, oh man, we're going to have to rely on all of my shots again. Shot, but then the one dude who almost rivalry missed rivalry like the Ricky ball Fowler three times, really him to that never broke. Flags. Now look behind this one. cup Pop right here. here. It breaks left the entire way. Not according nice to, uh, yeah. not according to the way I hit it. Nice power. Our leader is enjoying um, a three-stroke advantage. Oh, yeah, and the one dude that it's almost made the hole in one. The hole. He hit it four iron. On this interesting hole. I think it was a par four we were on. It was one of those where we just all hit a bad drive. We ended up having to use mine. That was a little bit in the rough. And, uh, look at that. Three feet to go here to the hole. He <laughs> hit it. Here. Hit a great shot, but well, his club head right flew Keep off. Going. Like his club head broke. We have a par five. It That's was hilarious. One. That is right down the sprinkler line. Time now to play the second shot on the fifteenth hole. I have yet to break a single club playing golf. But and here we are with the third I've seen shot. a couple of them break. So much easier when you roll like that, isn't it? You better believe it is great stuff to watch. 
And now four under for the tournament. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. That's the kind of strike that's going to make uh, them come minus back. Minus like every 16. I think it, it, from about 180 yards. it was very possible. It's just hard to be like, yeah, they played it when you know it's just, you know, random guys. Oh, nobody's done. a pro, nobody's whatever. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? The perfect leave. Uphill. So it's always hard to be to believe that it's like, okay, you shot 16 under. We had eight birdies on the front nine, three on the back. Some lovely momentum you know, that's, player, it's hard to beat, the leaderboard. but Let's see what happens here at the again, you had those red tees, um, and if you have somebody who can hit a wedge, you know, you have two or three par fives where oh, you have a, a wedge a into the green. This would be a momentum saver. And then there was a par four that we forgot about. We did end up, we did birdie it. Team. Um, well done. that if you used a red tee, it was only 212. And we were looking at that before, and I was well, like, man, if it's shots. not straight up the hill, I can hit a 5-iron right. into there, you know, if, if it's a little bit downhill. If it's uphill, I'll take a 4, my 4 hybrid, and just, and tee shot looks you know, good. try to get it on there, get an eagle putt, you know. What kind of shot are they facing but here, we completely Henny? forgot. Yeah, I've paced this. He's got around 195. He really got that one out there. Fantastic drive. That was a beauty. And this part for a final score of 68. And that will do it for him at this Look event. at all those three bogeys in a row. Four bogeys for the round, but we shot our best. Oh, man, it was, I, <laughs> three under being our best is awful. Well, I'd hate to use a tired old beaten up cliche, but wow, I've made a career off it for the last 20 years. This player came, they saw, and they conquered. Who? What a rivalry win. Oh, well, Luke, that's what they mean. You were my hero, so now I'm a little lost. I might follow this player as my hero and see how they do things moving forwards, because that was a truly phenomenal performance. Sure. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm we did Harvey, awful. And on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night Ooh, for now. wood timing head. Hell yeah. Bridgestone ball. No, I, wanna, I just want to max out what we got at the moment. Golf Club Championship is next. We got a fitting, but for some reason, it's not showing up as, yeah, that little thing right there for our wood. And what do we have? It's a, what the hell? oh, it went down there. Oh, it's a head. We well, okay, we have a shaping one right now. This one brings our swing path up by three. And our timing up by three. Let's put that on. Alright, well, that's gonna end this one. Uh, when we come back, it'll be the golf club championship. Hopefully, we're playing better. Oh, yeah, I need to choose another rival. Because all I mean, all we're gonna get is fitting, so it's whatever. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're still. How are we only 500 points away from 509 points away from Tiger Woods? Well, if we win this event, we'll be number one in the FedEx Cup standing. So, hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a great day. I'll see you. Bye.